At 18 years old, I was finishing my first year of college in Duluth, Minnesota, full of many tears and difficult decisions. After a year, I had finally left the boy who had changed me and the way I saw the world. Even though I had left, there was no longer a spark in my eyes and I no longer believed in happy endings. After all, if someone I loved so much could hurt me, how could there be any good in the world? Despite how difficult the year had been, on May 19th, 2017, I left for Ecuador. It had been less than two months since I left him. The first day I arrived at Cuenca, my host mom embraced me in a huge, warm hug and called me her hija, or daughter. And that night, my host family had a huge birthday party full of singing, dancing, and life. That night, I smelled my first real smile in a long time. I caught a glimpse of the old me, late at night in a restaurant full of laughter on Calle Larga, as me and other students on the trip shared stories over drinks and friendships began. I felt peace again as I wandered around the country at my host family's weekend home and marveled at the beauty of nature. I saw a younger, happier me in the children of my host family as I taught them new English words while they taught me new Spanish words, and we erupted into laughter over a mispronounced word. I found my childlike curiosity again as I wandered around the oldest church in Cuenca and marveled at the old paintings and architecture. I felt pure joy again as I snuggled with my host family's dog that had taken a liking to me and refused to let me sleep without him. At Cajas National Park, I felt truly alive again as we wandered through the Andes Mountains and saw colorful birds, ancient trees, hardy plants, and unique flowers. Finally, I was reminded that there are people who care as I sat 12,000 feet above sea level while my classmates and professor sang happy birthday to me. Cuenca was a gift that I truly needed. Thank you, Cuenca, for reminding me that there is always hope.